This is Cheers to Fat Pursuit. And it's right. uh, everyone that makes it happen. Racers, volunteers, sponsors, supporters, friends, family, everyone. Um, so high up in the air, put them together. Cheers. Nice. Woo. Oh man. <laughs> oh yeah. Ah, oh, that was hard. That was hard. Never again. No moss. Feels good. <laughs> cool. I think what really makes this event special is it's put on by racers and our volunteers are also racers and we have a great community of people. Come to the Fat Pursuit, volunteer, <laughs> drink schnapps with Bill, get no sleep. It's awesome. <laughs> I know sort of people look to the granddaddy of ultras as being the Iditarod Trail and many people definitely have dreams of that that holds its own challenges and fears and expenses and so I was really trying to put something together to try to create a similar experience but maybe with some more safety involved with it, something that we can all maybe grasp but still be challenged with. 200 miler man. Especially, nobody's ever done it before. We're kind of setting the precedent. It's gonna to be tough. It's gonna to be longer. It's gonna be a lot of riding at night. Obviously starting at five at night and rolling through the whole evening. I don't know what to expect. It's gonna be, it's all about the adventure. I created this event by way of just a passion and wanting to deliver experiences to other people. And I really realized that this is a pretty phenomenal place to ride fat bikes on snow. And uh, to put on an event here would be amazing. So it's definitely been a dream I've had for a long time. You got 78 miles till that first aid station. Pedal them wisely. Because <laughs> you're about a third of the way done. We went down into Harriman State Park this year, which is a new state park that is open to fat bikes, which is uh, pretty phenomenal. So we did some mileage in there. We also went down to Mesa Falls, which is a highlight of the area as well. The event's gotten known to have a water boil stop, which is a good way to make sure people know how to use their equipment and not just carry it. Looks like I'm boiling. Because uh, from there on out, they started to get deeper into the backcountry. In an ideal world, you would bivy out that first night without trying to go to West. Everyone wants to have their eye on West, but that's not around the block. You have you out for a few hours before you get to West, because that's a long haul. It's 120 miles, nonstop, and it's the first leg of the race. I got a little, a little sucked into the aid stations. Well, like I normal. talked about not doing, but uh, aid stations were amazing. I wouldn't have survived without those, for sure. <laughs> yeah, the volunteers were awesome. Trails. I don't think can get any better as a whole. I mean, you can just count on this to be just freaking epic. It was a lot of fun. I gotta tell you, man, the course is so awesome.
Thank you guys. And when they finally finish, that look on their face of accomplishment is, wow. They have some kind of spirit within them that just gets them through. And it's, it's amazing to see from beginning to end. You did it! You awesome job, man. <laughs> You're my man! Ah! Wow. That hurt. That's painful. It hurt a lot. <laughs> I was expecting to see some naked butts this year like last year. <laughs> That's a good thing, I guess. I guess so. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. It was un it was unbelievable. I've never seen something like that before. It was unbelievable. Unbelievable. Mmm, food is good. Oh yeah. <laughs> All of them. Oh, bacon. Frozen gummy bear. Did you take a pee break shortly? A little while ago? <laughs> Just a little while ago. Oh, probably. <laughs> 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 Not sure why I'm looking there. <laughs> hey, that was like, that was in the closing stretch. You just got to decide. There was no time, I guess. <laughs> it was either that or he didn't finish. Yeah. yeah right. Good job, man. Awesome. Yep. Yeah.